Hello, this is Ryan Kingsign. Today we're going to be looking at projecting photo reference onto your 3D model using ZBrush's Projection Master and ZScripts created by Marcus Sivis called Image Plane and Texture Library. To load Texture Library, you go to the Texture Palette down to the Texture Library submenu and click Load Textures. This will open up a browser. You select the image that you want. You can click the little magnifying glass to uh, see a larger view of it in the right, I'm sorry, the left pane. Uh, and then just click the image itself to load it inside of ZBrush. So we're loading a side view, a three quarters view, and a front view. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is to size the canvas to the size of the images. This way we get the very best pixel to pixel uh, transfer. Now we're going to start with the side view and we're just going to fill the background with it. So we select the side view in the texture palette and then press texture, crop and fill. Then we load our 3D model onto the canvas in the exact, in the exact same layer and position it. We, have to, we don't have to be precise here, we want to just establish a general placement because we are going to be stretching this texture around to fit the model. You might also want to go into the transform palette and press dots. That way anytime you rotate the model it'll convert to a wireframe view to let you see the uh, texture behind it. Okay, so we're going to clear the image from the background. We do that by pressing Control N or going up to layer, pressing clear. And now we're going to drop it into Projection Master with colors on, double sided on, and fade on. Now we're going to select our side view image and we're going to use another script by Marcus Sivis called Image Plane. What this does is takes a 3D plane, sizes it to the exact size of your canvas, and puts the image on there as a texture. We turn RGB on, we set Z Add, Z Intensity to 0, and go into Edit Mode. Then we press the Move button and get in there and start to move, push, and pull points around. So here I'm adding more geometry so that there's more points to be uh, pushing and pulling. Again, we're using a 3D plane to project our image onto our model. Now we're just pushing and pulling, sizing things up, getting the wrinkles along the forehead uh, all in the right position, kind of pushing and pulling the ears into each other to uh, just to make sure that they're the best size and that everything is the best fit possible. Okay, so we're about done here. Just fine-tuning some of the crow's feet some of the stuff around the nose, but we're really not going to worry too much about stuff around the nose and, and the eye area, uh, just because we're going to be pro doing three different projections, uh, three quarters and a front view, and we're going to be able to pick and choose from each one of those views what we want to keep. All right, now we're going to pick this up from Projection Master, make sure double-sided is on, and we're ready to go. There we go. So we've got a cleanly projected image, projected all the way across so that both sides get it. Okay, and now we're going to project the three-quarters view. Uh, before we do that, we're going to clone our texture. This way we will have three different textures that we can take into Photoshop and choose uh, what we want to keep from each one. All right, so select the three-quarters image. Say crop and fill, reselect the cloned texture, draw the model on the canvas, position it, and again we just have to be roughly placing it here because we're going to push and pull the texture into place. Alright, press control end, clear the canvas, projection master, turn off double sided, then we select the three quarters view, go into the texture palette, and click the image plane script. Set our Z intensity to zero, turn RGB on, go into edit mode, press the move tool. Now when the plane turns into a wireframe view and starts to rotate, that's because I haven't selected one of the vertices. So all I've got to do is make sure that there's enough geometry in there so that I'm actually selecting the vertices themselves. All right, now here we're just dragging the top of that ear down, getting the eye positioned. And we're only focusing on one half of the model at this point. So I'm only going to worry about this eye. 
and then because I know my UVs are pretty much symmetrical I'll just inside Photoshop flip that texture to the other side and fix it there now we're just adjusting the nose putting the nasal labial fold into the correct place lining up some of the wrinkles with the corner of the mouth and again there are certain things we're not worrying about we're not really worrying too much about the tip of the nose uh, I'm not worrying too much about the forehead at this point a lot of that's going to come from the front view projection alright so turn off double sided pick up now and there we go so we go up into the texture palette we press clone so now we're essentially going to have three textures for this model okay so now we're going to work on the front view select the front view in the texture palette and press crop and fill then select the last cloned texture draw your model on the canvas and position it now in this case the model has a slight tilt to the head so we're going to have to just tilt her head back a bit and I'm just lining up the eyes and either the nose or the mouth it depends but I'm gonna be able to push and pull the texture around quite a bit to fit press control N to clear what's on the canvas go into projection master drop now select the front view in the texture palette in the go up to the texture palette and select the image plane script and say load image turn the intensity to zero select RGB and go into edit mode press move and now you can push and pull the texture around to fit again this piece of geometry needs more resolution to it so I'm gonna press control D and divide it there we go so it's a little bit more to be pushing and pulling on and you can see I can really just make major changes to this texture or subtle changes I'm gonna push the eyebrows up a bit then I'm gonna create a smaller brush and go in and start to pull the eyes back down pull the nose in make sure the lips line up turning off symmetry here just so I can fix things the models not hundred percent symmetrical now when we're working on the front view we're not going to worry about things like the ears uh, or the sides of the face because that's already been taken care of in the other projections so we pick this model up out of projection master and we're good to go we export that texture in Photoshop we pull them all into one document and just start selecting what areas we want to keep from each projection so thank you so much for listening and happy pixeling